Welcome to Shanghai History Museum, which is located in the Oriental Pearl Tower. This place is about the lifestyle of Shanghai back then in history and how it developed each year and how it changed. As you go into the entrance, the first thing you see is a bunch of pictures that show of how lifestyle back then was. After that, the next thing we saw is a bunch of cars of how each model looked like before. Not just car, but also including trains and bus that they also made back then in Shanghai. Each vehicle that we pass by has its very unique and interesting details that it has of how it looked like back then in Shanghai. It also shows how the difference between the original model and how they improved the new vehicle into something new and improved. Not only does it do the same way, but it does the same way but different. In this area, this was used to carry passengers from a destination to another destination. Each one was very unique and interesting in its own way of how they built it. Something that I found very interesting was how they made the original model into a new model with interesting and different style, including new ideas. After that, we then went upstairs. And here is what the garage looked like. Here is what inside would look like inside the house. Here is what people do in Shanghai daily back then. Not only does it show about the lifestyle, but also the model of ship too. There's still more things that we need to check out. In this area, this is how the lifestyle back then was created or how um, it was made. Not just that, but it also shows of how lifestyle was first created to something that we now know today. Something that I found interesting was this tool that was used to polish. They also show of how the structure was made. As we continue walking, there was still a lot more things that I found interesting as we continue walking around this area. So as we continue walking, we continue to learn more about Shanghai history of how each developed and how new thing was created. Something that I like about the figure is that it represents its lifestyle back then and how it's doing its stuff daily to understand history. In addition, they also show of how each thing was done and what it was supposed to represent back then. As we continue walking, our understanding was becoming to increase after understanding of how it developed over time. Houses were taking new shapes, boat were becoming improved, car were becoming new. Everything was improving in the development of Shanghai. Something else that I like is that they also use like a model of the building, but inside it also shows a replicate of what it would look like inside in the lifestyle back then. As we continue walking in their mini town, we continue to see what they usually do in their daily life. They also have other stuff like this painting that they used back then. Here are some closer look inside the room of each mini house. They also show like a statue of what it looked like back then. They also show a bronze line that was used for Hong Kong Bank.
After that, we continue looking around with some more other stuff that is supposed to represent a place with people in it. While continue walking around, we also continue to see the info about each character and places. As we walk more around, we also saw a lot of other interesting stuff that we found interesting and very fascinating at the same time. It is very interesting of how each time we look around an area, it has all the details it needs from back then in history. The next thing I found very interesting was that they used a hologram to make the people look like it was representing their daily life and what they were doing. After we were done looking around the hologram area where they explained their daily life, we then went to the next area to look more of their lifestyle back then. After that, we then went to a house area to see of how each house looked like and to observe. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.